I'm right here with Umar Jambekov, nine-time Austrian champion. How are we doing? I'm good, ready to go. Uh, got a couple of pounds left, and next week, Friday, ready to rock. <laughs> right, Friday, it's coming, it's coming. Are you anticipating the fight? Right, how do you feel? How do you feel? You think it's going to go to distance, or are you anticipating a knockout? Well, I can't tell you like what's in the future. Like Friday, I'll just go in there, do my work. Should be fine. Give it your all. Yeah, well, I'll, do, I'll do what I always do and just do my thing. That's it. So we're walking around the gym and I'm hearing a little talk about a future world champion. Well, I appreciate it. That's good. I'm working for it. That, we're talking about you. <laughs> Thank you. Not since I was a little kid. I mean, I always dreamed of becoming the number one. And, um, you know, I was born somewhere in the mountains, moved to Austria as a little kid. And now I'm out here in America, a place where I always dreamed of being surrounded by champions, world champions, big stars, and uh, that's something that motivates me, inspires me, definitely. Yeah, because on the regular, you're definitely training with some of the best here. I am, that's true, and I think in these last couple of months, I improved a lot, but I still got so much to go, like there's so much space, I can grow and get better, and I'm really convinced that I can do that. We heard that it, it, it was a process, uh, getting you over here from, from Austria that you kind of went through some loops. Uh, did that kind of deter you a little bit, demoralize you a little bit, or did it kind of make you mo look forward more to what was over here and kind of getting it done? It was, it was kind of depressing because it took like 10 months for a simple thing, just paperwork to get done. Uh, it took me like close to a year, just no wow. fight, nothing. Wow. I was training, I was, tra I was, I was uh, staying in shape. So the good thing is I don't really need motivation. Motivation is good, but discipline is the key. And, and since I was a little kid, my dad always forced me into it anyway. So I was always scared, like I had to do it, and <laughs> if it was with me or not. So I stick to it. I was working also in these 10 months. And then finally I got here, made my first pro fight, got the win. And now it's time for the second one and then go back home, spend some time with my family. I can't wait for that. Right, can't wait to get back home, right? Yeah, really back, back to Austria. What part of Austria are you going back Vienna to? What is from the capital. Vienna? Straight from the capital. Yeah. Straight from the capital. Yeah. Fighting for <laughs> the capital, baby. The capital. I love that. I love that. So it's safe to say that if you come, you come from a small town in the mountains or you come from the mountains, right? And you're coming over here to America, living your dream. Yeah, that's right. True. I am. I am. But I'm working hard for it. So there was no nothing. I got gifted or someone just gave it to me. I work hard for it. Um, it's something I really think I deserve and I never take it for granted. Definitely. definitely, definitely. And it seems that you have a lot of people around the gym right now that have your back and believe in what you're doing. Do you, would you say that definitely helps you in doing what you're doing? It does. You need those kind of positive energies around you, those positive people. Because if you haven't got it, no, you, you, you get all kind of depressed. So I was often working with people who pushed me down or did not really help me. So if you were surrounded by people like, as I said, world champion and stuff, it motivates you even more and keeps you pushing. And those people who believe in me, it, it's, it's, it's a lot better for me. But with or without them, I have to keep working. But if I'm surrounded by them, it's 100 times better. So I really appreciate it. Oh, of course. What are some box, uh, what are a couple boxers that you looked up to uh, coming up in boxing right now? Past or present or any? Anybody. Any buzz. Oh, one of my all-time favorites is Muhammad Ali. Anyways, okay. Um, of course. As a, as a human being, athlete, boxer, whatever. Um, as a southpaw, I like really. I really like watching Usyk. Usyk is one of my favorites. Crawford. Terence Crawford is one of my favorites. Crawford, okay. Triple G. Triple and G. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's my top three. I'd say. Okay. Great, man. Great. So work, work, work. Right. That's yeah, what you're saying. Work gets it done. It is, so I am working and I really appreciate the support, everything. I mean, out in America as an Austrian is different, but I think I, I'll, get the, I'll get the American support as well. We support you. Well, some people say, some people say, good things come to those who wait. We say good things come to those who work. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. The sauce.